What happens when live strummer stops? It's a thought that makes your blood run cold. Our heart, that tireless drummer, keeps the rhythm of our existence, day in and day out. Without its relentless beats, the music of life would cease, a silence that none of us can afford. Did you know your heart is the hardest working muscle in your body? It's a fact. According to a study by the American Heart Association, your heart pumps approximately 2,000 gallons of blood every single day. That's enough to fill a small swimming pool. Talk about a workout. So, when you're going about your day, your heart is putting on a performance of a lifetime. A concert that's happening right inside you, every second of every day. This rhythm, this pulse of life, is where our journey begins. Stay with us as we ride the wave, or should we say river, of blood in our next section. Riding the Red River, life's thrilling roller coaster. Starting at the heart, your blood surges through big wide arteries, like freeways in a bustling city. It carries precious cargo, oxygen and nutrients that your body needs to keep going. But this isn't just a one-way trip. After delivering the goodies, blood gets back on the road, carrying waste products like carbon dioxide back to the heart. According to a study by the National Institute of Health, your circulatory system, the highways and byways your blood travels, spans an astounding 60,000 miles. That's enough to go around the Earth more than twice. But don't worry, your blood isn't going on a globe-trotting adventure. It's hard at work, circulating through your body, delivering vital resources, and keeping you alive and well. And all this happens without you even noticing. Now, isn't that something? But hang on tight, because our journey is far from over. In the next section, the vital voyage of our blood vessels. Have you ever wondered why your blood goes through all this trouble, zipping around your body like a race car on a track? Well, friends, it's all for one grand purpose, keeping us healthy and strong. You see, our bodies are like intricate machines, and every machine needs fuel and maintenance. The oxygen and nutrients our blood delivers are the high-grade fuel that our body's cells crave, and those waste products it sweeps away. That's the crucial maintenance, like a cleanup crew at the end of a rock concert. According to a study by the National Institute of Health, the body has about 37.2 trillion cells. That's right, trillion with a T. So our blood has a lot of pit stops to make on its never-ending tour. And what happens if our blood can't make its rounds? Well, that's like a rock concert without power. Everything comes to a standstill, and for our bodies, that's bad news bears. Okay. So buckle up, health warriors. We're still on this incredible journey, exploring the highways to health that run right through us. Our next stop, Highway to Health, the life-sustaining tour. Picture this, you're a VIP on a rock star tour, but instead of lights and music, you're surrounded by cells and tissues, that's what it's like for the oxygen and nutrients in your blood. They're on a never-ending tour, always hustling from the heart, down the highways of your circulatory system, to every part of your body. Now, why is this tour so important? Well, it's all about delivering the goods. Your body is like a complex city, with cells as its citizens. These cells need oxygen and nutrients to survive and work properly, just like we need food and water. So it your blood, like a committed delivery driver, makes sure these essentials reach their destinations. Your blood is like the most diligent mail carrier. After dropping off the important packages of oxygen and nutrients, the blood doesn't just kick back and relax. No, it gets right back to work, collecting the city's trash, waste products like carbon dioxide, to carry them off for disposal. It's a 24 7 365 days a year job. No weekends, no holidays, just constant tireless work to keep the city of your body clean and functioning. According to the World Health Organization, every single cell in your body receives a visit from this hard-working mail carrier about once every minute. That's a lot of stops. So while you're here, soaking up knowledge from this video, or even when you're snoozing at night, your body is bustling with activity. The one thing it's not going to do is hit that like and subscribe button. It helps our channel greatly, and we really appreciate it. Unraveling the Mystery of Bad Circulation now, what happens when our diligent mail carrier, the blood, hits a traffic jam, or when the tireless drummer, the heart, misses a beat? In simple terms, we get bad circulation, and it's like a major city-wide blackout. When blood can't make its rounds efficiently, cells don't get their regular deliveries of oxygen and nutrients. It's like your favorite pizza place suddenly closing down. Disappointing and a bit distressing. But more than that, bad circulation can cause serious health problems. It's not just about missing pizza. It's about the entire city grinding to a halt. 
According to the Mayo Clinic, signs of poor circulation include feeling cold, numbness, especially in your hands and feet, tiredness, and even changes in your skin color. It's like the city's residents waving red flags, alerting you that something's not quite right. Clearing the path. Hitting the gas on circulation improvement. Ever been stuck in a traffic jam and wished you had a magic wand to clear the way? Well, when it comes to improving blood circulation, we have something almost as good. Let's uncover some solutions that are like a team of tow trucks, ready to clear that biological traffic jam. First up is exercise. It's like adding more lanes to your highways. The American Heart Association suggests that regular physical activity can help your blood vessels to become more flexible, allowing blood to flow more freely. It's like a daily dose of road maintenance, keeping the city running smoothly. Eating a healthy diet can also play a big role. It's like choosing a fuel-efficient car instead of gas guzzling. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as avocados and walnuts, can help reduce plaque in your arteries, making it easier for your blood to get around. But don't underestimate the importance of regular checkups. It's like getting your car serviced regularly. It can help spot potential issues before they become bigger problems. The role of healthcare in navigating circulation troubles. Remember our trusty mail carrier, constantly working to deliver oxygen and nutrients to every cell in the city of your body? Well, think of healthcare professionals as the city planners, traffic controllers, and road construction crew all rolled into one. They're the experts who can help ensure our body's delivery system stays on track. Regular checkups with your doctor, like having city planners regularly assess traffic flow and road conditions, can help spot potential circulation problems before they become full-blown traffic jams. According to the American Heart Association, early detection of circulation issues can make a huge difference in successful treatment. And if you already got some blockages, doctors can be like the construction crew, performing procedures to clear clogged arteries or prescribing medications to help reduce plaque buildup. But remember, even the best city planner, construction crew, or traffic controller can't do their job without your cooperation. The power of community in boosting circulation. Ever notice how a road trip is more fun with friends? The same goes for your journey to better circulation. We're talking about the role of community, the buddies in your backseat, cheering you on as you navigate the road to better health. According to a study by the University of British Columbia, social support can also make healthy eating more achievable. It's like having a culinary GPS, guiding you towards healthier choices on the menu. And let's not forget about emotional support. Dealing with health issues can be tough, but having friends and family to lean on can make the journey less daunting. It's like having a comforting voice on the car radio, keeping you company through the twists and turns of the road. Next stop, when circulation hits a detour. As we wrap up, remember our journey is far from over. Buckle up for our next episode, episode two, the role of nutrition in longevity. We'll delve into conditions like heart disease and stroke with humor, easy metaphors, and the latest scientific research. So stay tuned and get ready for another ride through the fascinating world of blood circulation. See you next time.